Hello and welcome to 247 News Flash. In this edition, Minority Leader Haruna Idrisu says the rearrest of Chinese illegal mining campaign Aisha Huang shows President Akufuado has failed in the Galamsey fight. He added that the president did not mean his words after he promised to fight the Kanka. The Coalition for Democratic, Accountable and Inclusive Governance on Monday went on protest march to compel the Auditor General to exercise his powers of surcharge. The group, also known as the Citizens Coalition and made up of civil society organizations and some individuals, also presented a petition to the Ghana Audit Service after its protest. The West African Examinations Council is dealing with 10 cases regarding examination malpractice. According to AEC, the cases which span from 2022 to this year are part of a total of an initial 13 cases, three of which have been dealt with. Another story is that the disability community has expressed concern about the failure by government to implement policies that will promote their welfare as required by the Convention of the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Ten years after the country ratified the CRPD, the disability movement said it was worrying that persons with disability continued to suffer various forms of discrimination. In business, the International Monetary Fund says a deal with Ghana should be reached and finalized before the end of this year. Already very constructive discussions have been held and the fund is determined to work with the Ghana government and the Ministry of Finance to ensure that an agreement is in place before the end of the year. Despite an improved performance of the city to the dollar last week, depreciation risk persists. According to the weekly currency reports by the Data Bank Research, demand pressures exist. On the global front, the main opposition party in Angola, National Union for the Total Independence of Angola, UNITA, has urged the constitutional court to hear its appeal and invalidate the declared re election results that gave victory to President Joao Lorenzo, MPL, chairman and presidential candidate of UNITA, Adalberto Costa Jr. on Monday said that discrepancies of over 500,000 votes changed the official results. Still on the global front, Priti Patel quit as Home Secretary with a call for Lestras to back all aspects of her immigration policies. On the day, judges began reviewing the legality of the Rwanda policy. Patel said it was a choice to return to the back benches before the new Prime Minister appoints a cabinet. In sports, Black Stars head coach Otuado has named a 29-man squad for the pre-World Cup friendlies against Brazil and Nicaragua with the inclusion of five debutants. The list has Inanke Williams, Tarek Lamte and Stefan Ambrosius who until recently switched nationalities to play for Ghana. The Black Stars will play Brazil and Nicaragua on September 23 and 27 respectively. Rafael Nadal is the latest tennis icon to crash out on the U.S. Open after losing to Frances in four sets flagging up a remarkable start involving the Spanet and fellow icons Roger Federer, Novak Djokovic and Serena Williams. The number two seed suffered a shock defeat to American player Frances on Monday night ending his hopes for a third Grand Slam title in 2022. In entertainment, a Ghanaian singer Jackie at the 2022 Hedis has been adjudged the best West African artist of the year at the Paramount's Nigerian Music Awards ceremony with a triumph of Angelique Kijo, Nelson Freitas, Kiddy, among others. This year's was the 15th edition and was held at the Corp Energy Performing Arts Center, Atlanta, Georgia, United States of America. Finally, in the news this evening, actor Calibos born Richard Kweku Asante says one of his biggest wishes in the movie industry is to star in a movie with a senior colleague Ejako. According to him, this is because Ejako is one of the best actors in Ghana. Calibos became popular after making his acting debut in the skit series Boys Casa in 2012 and has since not looked back. That'll be it for the news this evening. Thank you for watching.